Hi, I'm Jungle Jim. This is Jungle Adventures, Swampy, our 200 foot long alligator. Come on in, let's see some animals. I was here when the original owners built the park uh, almost 40 years ago. Uh, as a matter of fact, over 40 years ago. We've been open to the public a little less than 40, maybe 38 years open to the public. Um, and over those years, we've taken in all kinds of other animals, uh, not just crocodilians here, but um, we've got 20 acres and we've taken in animals that other people don't want. So we have some retired performing animals. Um, we have some unwanted pets. People think it's kind of neat to get an exotic animal as a pet. They get them very small and like our puppies and kittens, they don't stay small. Uh, they very quickly increase in size and strength. And guess what happens to that animal when the people realize they've gotten themselves into something they weren't ready for? Unfortunately, most of them are euthanized, put down. We hate to see that happen to any animal. So we take in as many as we can. See, now to look at that, you think, oh man, look at that. That thing could have rabies. They see people see the tail and it's scaly. There's no fur on it. And they think it's in a rat family, but they're not at all. Um, they're in the marsupial family, which is a branch of the mammals. And the tail is hairless because it's prehensile. They use it to climb. They can wrap it around a branch. Females can actually carry nesting material with it. Most of the small mammals have 30 to 40 teeth, and these guys have 50. Not a good idea to try to catch one or make a pet out of it. I wouldn't think so. Uh, they are capable of a pretty serious bite, but they are not interested in chasing you down or your pet. You, if you do see one, you don't have to worry about it. If, um, it's probably smelled cat food or dog food you left outside, or it smelled food you put in the garbage can, and it's just looking for something to eat. And all you have to do is just leave it alone. It's going to eat and then go right back where it came from. This is Ringo and Woody, and Woody's the overweight lemur, oh. and he was somebody's pet. Uh, he was kept in a small bird cage and fed people food. When we first got him, we thought it was a pregnant female. And these are social animals. You don't want to keep one of these by itself. In the wild, they live in large family groups. So we had to find another one. Uh, but uh, our vet kept him out, put him on the proper diet, and told us we had an overweight neutered male. <laughs> So we found a buddy for him. This is his buddy Ringo. Uh, that's the proper size of the lemur. So he's losing a lot of weight. He's lost over half of what he had when he came. Wow. He literally looked like a basketball with a tail. Um, so he's got more room to jump and swing and climb. Is he as happy as he would be in Madagascar? No. But is he happier than being in a small bird cage? Mm -hmm. Most definitely, yeah. Most definitely. Um, this girl is one of our celebrities. If you ever uh, see Dave Salmoni's After the Attack television show, this is one of the cats they used to reenact um, attacks from the Western Cougar in California. So she's been on TV. She's been to New York, been on uh, David Letterman, and been on Jay Leno. So she's gotten around. We raised her. She was born here at the park. So she grew up here. She was actually raised by a Rottweiler. <laughs> The story behind Ponce de Leon looking for the Fountain of Youth is back in those days, the Europeans averaged about four feet tall. And they tell us Ponce de Leon was four foot 11. He was the tallest man on the ship. And the Indian tribe living in that area at the time was the Timaquan. And the Timaquans averaged about seven feet tall with a 90 year lifespan. And the Europeans had a lifespan of about 40 years. So Ponce de Leon finds this tribe of Indians that were twice as tall and lived twice as long. And he thought there must be something in the water. And the Timaquan tribe at the time in St. Augustine were living on an artesian sulfur spring well. And that was, they were getting their drinking water there. So that's why Apostle Leon was looking for a fountain of youth. All of the crocodilians, all 23, there's 14 crocodiles, two alligators and six caiman and they all have five toes in the front with only three claws. The outside toes don't have any claws on them and they all have four toes in the back with three claws. The outside toe doesn't have a claw. So that's something they have in common, all of the different cousins of the big family.
This is Goliath. He's one of our older big males. We estimate him to be about 12, 1300 pounds. You see the duckweed stuck to his back? That's a naturally occurring plant. Doesn't bother them. They don't eat it. Alligators are strictly meat eaters. He's going to show you his pretty smile. Oh, we hissed him off. <laughs> that's alligator talk for that's close enough. <laughs> Look at them jaw muscles hanging underneath of his head. There's no fat on that neck. Those are all the muscles to close the jaw. They have the hardest bite of any land animal. Come here, you. Goliath. Am I okay to walk with him or? Uh, or stay between me and him. Okay. Oh, no, back up, baby. She's not being aggressive. She's just. Bobber, come here. Head up. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is a big guy right here. Come here. Head up. Goliath, come come. Goliath, come come. Head up. There you go. Nice job. That was awesome. Reach Head friend. up. You get sound on this? Whoa. We'll get a better one. Hold on. Head up. Higher. No, I got that. I see it. One more time. Head up. Nope, not a good pop. One more time. Head up. Higher, higher. Patches. Head up. Good job. Head up. Bring it up higher, please. Higher. You want this? Head up. That one? This is Spang. Hi, baby. How you doing today? Being good? Goliath, come here. Come here. Head up. Head up all the way. Right. Got it. Behind me. I think I got one. Head up. Good girl. What do you want, Milo? Huh? You get a brat?